Hi, I'm Michael Shea again. I'd like to continue talking about the therapeutic relationship that I mentioned in our last Ask Michael question and answer period. The last time I talked about the therapeutic relationship, I talked about it in terms of how the two nervous systems of the client and the therapist, they merge together, that the vascular systems of the client and the therapist, they merge together as one thing, that this is a known physiological and metabolic reality that begins to occur. Some researchers have actually said that the therapeutic relationship is a two-person biology. In other words, that these two adults come together and they become one biological system. So what does that mean in terms of biodynamic craniosacral therapy? What does that mean in terms of when we're working, our palpation, and just being with the client in general? Well. At the school that I teach, and the work that I teach in biodynamic work, we consider the therapeutic relationship to be a circulatory system. And why is this? Because in our training, we focus on, on the human embryo, and the development of the human embryo. This is an incredibly important part of the therapeutic process to understand how the human embryo develops. And it develops in relationship to not only a placenta, but also the uterine environment and therefore the mother. So the original template, you could say the original template for the therapeutic relationship is really that original relationship between the embryo and the mother. But also you have to remember that there's an interface there and we have a circulatory system called placental circulation. And I believe that the therapeutic relationship also relates to that. So what does that mean? It means that when you have your hands on someone with sustained skin contact, and in biodynamic practice, that's what we're doing. It's called sustained skin contact. You might have your hands on the client on top of their skin or their clothes for 5, 10, 15 minutes. And during that time, there's a discrete amount of sensation that's happening, and it's a circulatory system where there's sensation that's filling you up, it ebbs out of you, goes into the client and out. And this is precisely mimicking placental circulation. There are also other times when the uterine environment itself may mimic the relationship. In other words, that sometimes the therapist, we sit there, I sit there, and I have these feelings of loving kindness and tenderness that's the mother instinct, that's the uterine instinct as a circulatory system entering into the client, taking the client in, exchanging with the client as a circulatory system. And it's all based on nutrition. And as one researcher said, that what comes in from the placenta is not precisely the mother's blood, but it's actually fertilizer. It's an interesting metaphor, fertilizer nutrition, feeding, feeding that embryo, feeding the fetus, feeding the infant. And so that's what we're doing with our hands, with our thoughts, with our brains, with our blood, with our cardiovascular system. We're engaging in a circulatory system. We put our attention on a very slow tempo. We put our attention on stillness in our heart and we allow the circulation to flow as loving kindness flowing back and forth between the client and the therapist. So this is a very important consideration that we see in biodynamic cranial sacral therapy, the therapeutic relationship to be a circulatory system, similar to the placenta, the mother, the embryo, and the fetus, as one thing. Thank you.